Okay, the one thing about the shark is it does have a particular smell and it's really kind of messy to dissect and that's because of the oil. Uh, the liver, which is large here, this whole organ here, this is the liver. So you can see I just cut them open, there's the liver. And there's one on each side, two lobes of the liver, they're quite large. So sharks have very large livers and the liver makes uh, copious amounts of oil and it just gets on everything and it has a very fishy smell to it. Well, shark liver oil, this is how the animal controls its buoyancy. It's not perfect, but it works pretty darn good if you think about a shark is swimming through the water. Where does it float in that column of water? Well, if it needs to get higher to the surface, it produces more oil. Once to sink, it's gonna produce less oil and then it sinks. Now, of course, it can swim up or swim down, but this would be a passive way to move, okay? So this is all liver. It's not super easy to tell, but see this middle area of the liver? So we have a lobe that comes right here, but there's a little bag right at the end here. I'm kind of pinching it. That is the gallbladder. Okay, the gallbladder is always associated with the liver because it is what's storing the bile. Okay, the liver secretes it, the gallbladder stores it. And it's usually a nice green color. We'll see that in other animals. In the shark, it really never is. Okay, so that's the gallbladder. If we follow digestion, so I remember how we talked about the, the esophagus is gonna be up high, kind of hard to see, and it's gonna go down into the stomach. So I'm gonna grab the stomach here. Okay, so this is the stomach. And the stomach comes down, okay? And it feels like the stomach is empty. Sometimes we can find a fish in there. After the stomach, we see how the intestine comes down and it, it makes this little squiggle. This first bend, this is the first part of the intestine and it's called the duodenum. After the duodenum or right close associated to the duodenum, right here, this organ, okay, stomach, duodenum, this is the spleen, okay. And then it's gonna go from duodenum, I'm just gonna follow the intestine around and this part of the intestine here is the ileum. You see that it has these stripes. The yellow starting is uh, the hepatic, hepatic portal system of the circulation. We're not going to go into detail on it. But these stripes let you know that this is the spiral valve. And so that food travels down this spiraling staircase and that increases the surface area of this part of the intestine, the ileum of the intestine. Okay, the spiral valve in there. Now I wanna go back up here because what we missed was the pancreas. And the pancreas, I can see it. The pancreas, so see these mesenteries, see these uh, membranes? The pancreas is associated or next to the duodenum and it's always associated with these membranes. And so I see this organ that's in here and I'm gonna kind of flip this back and we can see right here. Can you see it? This part right here. And a little, we got spleen going on where my thumb is. Here, I'll use the probe to outline the pancreas. That is the pancreas, okay? Duodenum, spleen here, pancreas, here. See if I pull it all apart, you can see that. All right, so then it's going to go down, continue on its way out. The rectum is way late here, and it's going to exit the cloaca. So the cloaca is a common opening. It's going to be both for solid waste, liquid waste, and reproductive, all is in exiting that same opening. I should also have in here somewhere some rectal glands. Ah, there it is. So that's the rectal gland. Okay. Okay, what else do we have in here? What in terms of reproduction do we have going on? Well, I know it's a female. How do I know? Well, when I look at the claspers, which are these fins, right? I see actually that it doesn't have claspers, that this part of the fin is very soft. I'll try to find a male shark and see if I have any that actually have the claspers, okay? So when I look inside, so I kind of go, okay, it's a female. Now when I look internally, can I see any female gonads 
and I gotta go way up high. So notice how I, I've grabbed the liver, I've pulled the liver aside, and I see up here that is an ovary. Okay, and then I have coming down here the uterine tube. Okay, now this is pretty cool, is that this particular shark had in it an egg case. So we say, oh, it was pregnant. Well, it's not pregnant in the way that we consider. This is not a viviparous animal. This is ovoviviparous. And so I'm going to take this out. Look how cool this is. Can we see it? Make sure I'm staying in focus. And so that here is a little baby shark. Oh. And then this whole thing, this is the yolk. This is the egg mass that it's going to feed off of. Because mom is not, there's no placenta. Okay. So she's just holding on to the eggs until they develop. So they have live birth, but it's because she's held on to the uh, eggs inside of her. Okay, so we'll put him back in there. Okay, so that's kind of cool actually, right? And like how many did she have? Well, if we have just one on this side, what about the other side? Okay, let's go over there. Is there anything going on over there? Okay, nope. Okay, so there's the ovary. Okay, so there's the ovary, and we can follow the ovary duct down. And this one, we didn't cut into it, and it seems to be em empty, so for whatever reason, this particular shark at this particular time just laid one egg, and there was just one developing baby shark, which makes me feel kind of good because I don't like killing the little babies. But for learning, and again, we've used this shark many, many times. Okay, so this gives us the overall internal anatomy. I'm gonna check our list and make sure that we've covered everything and find us a male shark.